Hi everyone, I'm Jody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm really glad that you're here today. And if you have recently subscribed to the channel, thanks so much for doing that. We really appreciate you being here and contributing to our conversation so that we can really learn from one another. I'm just one person and I love to learn from you guys as well. In the series of tutorials to help incorporate the fall trends into your more mature skinned makeup look without looking trendy, we're gonna talk all about graphic liner. Now, graphic eyeliner is nothing new. We've seen it in trends for about a year and a half now, and it can be really creatively beautiful. However, on our more mature eyes, if not done correctly, it can look a little bit messy. And it does get messy, but I'm gonna walk you through what products to use, whether you're new or more skilled at liner, and how to clean up the messes because they're going to happen. Rarely, rarely when you see somebody's perfectly lined wing liner or graphic liner, did they do that freehand. Certainly a lot of people can, but more of us cannot. And that's okay, cleaning it up is super easy with just some of the tools and tricks I'm gonna share with you today. And graphic liner can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. There's no rules in makeup, there's no rules in attire. In fact, I have on a romper today and I absolutely love it. I'll insert a picture, but just so you guys can see, I think this is by Club Monaco. And I just love it. I it just, it's wide at the bottom. I'll, again, I'll insert a picture so you can see. But it's, it's, some may say it's not age appropriate. I don't care, I love it. And so, yeah, I just thought I should show you that because you're probably like, what in the world is she wearing? They look like suspender or overalls. But no, it is a cute romper, super comfortable. So I wanted to share that with you as well. So you're not like, what in the world? So if you wanna get creative and just break out of your normal makeup routine, or if you thought, gosh, I just can't get that winged liner to look the way I want it to, I'm gonna break it down very simply with the right types of products, brushes, so that you too can create a winged liner and just add a little bit of a graphic liner look. If you're ready, let's get started. All right, so let's get into this fun eyeliner look that is, I don't wanna say age appropriate for more mature women, but, um, cause really what is age appropriate? Doesn't, age appropriate is just a state of mind, right? I think to some degree, but classy still, keep it classy and elegant. So what we're starting with in this tutorial is the face is done and the eyebrows are done. You guys have seen me do that far more times than you probably care. With this eyeliner look, we're gonna keep it more on the natural but elegant side. So we're gonna minimize colors and a lot of pigmentation on our eyelids. So to start with a neutral palette, I've already put on my concealer and then I set that with a light dusting of translucent powder. Next, I'm gonna go in with my paint pod by MAC and this is in the color Painterly. I've shown this one to you guys before. It's my favorite. I use it probably, probably every day that I wear makeup. It gives me a nice pale pink nude as a base so that when I don't put eyeshadow on or if I just want eyeshadow in certain areas, this just gives a little bit of warmth to my eyelid. Now, if you have concealer that you like and you've already put concealer on and then set it with a light translucent powder, you don't need this extra step if you like the color of your eyelids once you've added concealer. Now, you can certainly look at all the different paint pods that MAC has. I don't use this as a primer per se for my lids. I use it more as a, probably more of a cream eyeshadow is what I really in, use it for. So I'm gonna cover the inner corner to the outer corner across the lash line and all the way up to the brow. I always have scissors handy because you never know when an eyebrow is just gonna sprout up like Jack and the Beanstalk. And now we'll do the other side. It just gives it a nice cream nude. And if you have oily lids, you could still use a paint pot. You'll just wanna set this with a light dusting of a translucent powder to help keep it from creasing. And this eyeliner look today is not just for fall. This is gonna be an eyeliner look that you can wear for any time of the year. You can accentuate it and make it thicker and darker and more pulled out. If you wanna make it more from a day to an evening look, you can add different colors of eyeliner. If you wanna maybe go through the holidays and, and outline it with a little bit of gold perhaps for a special holiday party. This is just a nice basic template. And then from there, you can get real creative with however you wanna accentuate it. But this will help you be on trend for fall, but not trendy. So hopefully that's helpful. So with a small tapered brush, I'm just gonna pick up this very, very light, it's called All Natural. It's just a light tan type color. Get off all the extra. And I just wanna slightly carve out a little bit of a crease, but not all the way into the inner corner, just about halfway. So I'm coming from the outer corner 
into the crease and then back out. So a little bit of a triangle, if you will, starting with this being the point of your triangle, a little bit out this way, and then a little bit down. And then we're just gonna soften that color. And then I will get a brush to blend this out. This is really just to deposit the color. And then I wanna go back and blend. So again, from here, soften it out, outer corner of the crease. And then I'm gonna go back and find a clean blending brush, one that has a white tip so that I know it is a blending brush. And when it starts to not be white, then I know that I need to clean it. But I do have a few brushes in front of me that are the white tips. And I've said this a few times because it's such a handy thing to think about. Is that way you know that, that you can reach for it quickly and know that that's a blending brush and not a color deposit brush. Blow that out real lightly. We just wanna add a little bit of neutrality but some dimension. Next I'm gonna go in with some cream. This is by MAC and this is in the color Hush. And you can see how well it goes with that paint pod. So this is a little more peachy, more of a highlight shimmer. This is a flat matte color. So the two really look nice together. So this was my base, that matte color. And then I'm gonna grab a synthetic brush and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this, dab it on the back of my hand so I don't get too much product, just on that very inner corner of my eye. Take what's remaining on the brush. I'm not gonna dip it back in because I don't want that much product. And we're just keeping that underneath the crease line, just in the tear duct area across the lower lash line because we're gonna bring that eyeliner across the lash line but not all the way to the corner. So we just want it to fade into this little bit of shimmer. Next, I'm gonna grab a small, flat, natural bristle brush. Natural, natural bristle brush. And I'm gonna go into my Natasha Denona Glam Palette. So I'm gonna pick up some of the center eyelid color. It's just a, just a darker brown, darker than what we put up here. This is what we're gonna use to define our under eyelashes. And I just wanna pick that up on the very tip of my brush because I want that to go right where my lash line is and fill in the gap, if you will, of my lashes. Starting from the outer corner, and I wanna only come in about halfway because we're gonna blow that out and soften that up quite a bit, but I just don't wanna have so much focus on my upper lashes that, there's, that it looks like they're floating. And this is where you get that nice, natural, soft look. So from there, we're gonna go in and just grab a clean, fluffy brush. This is gonna be my blending brush, and you can see it's narrow, and that allows it to go right where my lash line is without pulling that product too far down my face. Now when you're picking out the color that you wanna put on your under eye, you want it to be more likely warm. Even if you have more cool skin tones, you wanna have a little bit of warmth to your eye look. You can also just add a little bit of warm brown to the outer corner if you choose a cool color. But I would stick to more of your earth tones, your neutrals for this look. Again, so that you don't have your eyeshadow colors competing in your eyeshadow technique and your eyeshadow design competing with your liner. And if you feel like that's just a little darker than you want, then you can always go back in with a really nice light fluffy brush, pick up a lighter color and just go right over that to just give it some dimension without covering up the color. Now you don't have to do that step again. That's really if you have it darker than you want. Typically when you're doing eyeshadow, you wanna start with your lightest color first and then build to your darker color, especially on your upper eyelids. That's how you're able to build that depth within your eyeshadow look. Now we're gonna break out the eyeliner and because I'm going for a very sleek look, all about the eyes and not a lot of eyeshadow, I'm gonna grab a black eyeliner. You can use a gel eyeliner, you can use a liquid eyeliner, you can use a pencil eyeliner, you could even use a paint pod and line it with this type of a gel, or you can use a black eyeshadow and just get it wet with some of your setting spray, whether that's the e.l.f. or whether it's the Mist and Fix by Makeup Forever, whatever setting spray you have, just get that real damp and you'll wanna use an angled brush, something like this, if you're gonna use a paint pod type gel liner. That's a little easier for people to use sometimes. It, you have a little bit more control than with a liquid liner. So if you're used to using a gel eyeliner and you wanna just kick it up a notch or get out of your comfort zone and try something different, I would recommend going to one of these gel type liners with a small angled brush. It's just easier to control 
Liquid liner, I would say, would be your last and more advanced final step. It doesn't mean you can't do it. You certainly can. And I'll show you how to clean up some edges because we'll most likely make some messes. But I find that I have a little bit more control and it's more forgiving with one of these paint pods and a nice, tight, angled brush. So we're just gonna dip right into that. And then I like to just make sure that I don't have any extra product that I need on the very edge and I'll just put that inside the lid. And I'm gonna go in with this higher part of the brush right at the lash line with the smaller angle of the brush hitting the corner of my upper lashes. And I'm just gonna slightly pull that up and out. And again, don't worry about the mess because we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to go in and clean that up. So now we've got a little bit of that wing. So you're just gonna take your finger and sort of help flick that out. Now we're gonna go and take that same brush, add a little bit more to it. I'm gonna take the small side and go right above my lash line until I get to the center of my eye. And when I get to the center, I'm gonna bury that lightly into my lashes so that you don't see it after that. So we're gonna go back in and add a little bit more product. And I'm gonna use, again, this small side of that angled brush right where we did in the first step. And I'm gonna just go and pull that out a little bit more and add a little more dimension while I'm keeping that wing. Now, a lot of people say, well, where? how do I know where the wing stops? The wing can stop wherever you want it to stop. The thicker the wing, the farther out you want it to go before it stops, because it would look really funny if you were really thick and then stopped short. If it's really thin, you don't wanna to go too far out being a thin liner, because then it's just gonna look like it's thin and just goes on forever. So the length of how far your wing should go really does depend on how thick of a liner look you want. So again, we're just gonna keep this sort of simple. You can see where I'm at at this stage. I wanna go back in with this, short side closest to the lashes, and I'm gonna pick up where I ended and come back out and just add a little bit of thickness. So I'm just tracing on top of the line I already have, just to make it a double line, if you will, to make it a little bit thicker. So I did it that way. Now I'm gonna just simply spin my brush and bring it back down. So that I'm always leading any deposit of color with the small side of the brush. Now it's fine that you have a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna grab a cosmetic Q-tip with the sharp edge and go in with some cleansing water. So that's nice and moist. And we're just gonna go and clean that up and make a nice straight edge. And you guys, a lot of times you don't see this step when people do their makeup. So it leaves you feeling like, why can't I just have a nice clean slick line? Rarely does that happen where somebody doesn't have to go back in and clean it up a little bit. So if you don't do this and have a nice clean line that you don't have to clean up, don't fear that. Just know that that is the way it always goes for almost all of us. And you just go in and clean it up and no one's the wiser. Now, if you want a more intense look, grab your liquid liner and you can just go over this with your liquid liner or you can start with liquid liner and not even use this step. And if you really need this to last throughout the day, a big photo shoot, a big event, then you'll wanna grab a waterproof liquid liner. That's gonna be your best bet to hold up throughout hours and hours and hours and sweat and that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna start on this side. Same thing, I'm gonna put that low end in the corner of my eye so that I get that distance. That's the width I want. I'm just gonna ever so slightly pull it up and out. Just like that, then we're gonna go across the lash line, burying it about halfway across into my eye to avoid us from having too dark of a look. And we're gonna just come back out with it and thicken it up. And then I'll grab a clean Q-tip, go back into my water, clean that up. You can see how easy it is to clean up the line so that you really get that sharp line that you want. There, so you can see how even those are. Now before I go back and clean up from the concealer, I'm just gonna grab a very small pencil brush and I'm gonna go back into my eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna go to the color that we used underneath our eye tap a lot of that off because I want to deposit very, very little color. And I wanna go at the bottom of the crease 
just on the outer side of the eye just to add a little bit more shadowing and dimension just so that it looks very shadowed. So just like that, and that's all I want. It just gives a little bit more dimension to the eye look. And then we're gonna really, really soften that out with some blending. I'll grab a clean, fluffy blending brush and just lightly, 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 not moving. I don't want that darker eyeshadow that we just put to go really anywhere. I just want it to look as though it, there's dimension. Really softly, softly blur that out. And if you get too much product, then just go back in with a lighter powder, a lighter eyeshadow to cover it up. Same on the other side. I hope you guys are doing this with me, it's fun. Okay, now we are ready to add a little bit of our concealer back. And I always go a little bit farther into the temples because that is one area in as we age that likes to get skinny. And then I'll just press that in. And then you can set this with a little bit of a light translucent powder if you want. So now we're gonna just go in with our mascara and we'll do two coats of mascara and then a third coat of waterproof. And I have been loving this new mascara by Makeup Forever. I just, I love Makeup Forever. It has two steps. One is a conditioning and lengthening. Look how small that brush is. That brush is awesome. I'm gonna go right to the root of the lashes, wiggle it so that it helps coat the, op, the upside of the lash. And when I use this mascara, I don't go in with a prime with that Clinique primer because this acts as a lengthening and a primer. This mascara also helps contribute your look to that fluttery eyelash look that is all part of the trend for 2022. And the thing about this look that I like is everything else is pretty minimal. It's just a touch of flush color to the cheeks and then that color a little bit darker on the lip. If you use a liquid cheek color, you can use your cheek color on the cheeks and then use a lip liner and then use that same cheek color over your lip liner so that it's the same color, just a little bit darker because you've added the lip liner underneath your lips before applying that cheek color, which is essentially what I did today. It helps keep everything coordinated without looking too matchy-matchy but just a nice soft focus on the eyes. Now, if you wanted to have more of that fluttery eyelash look, you could do just this type of a look and leave it there, maybe minimal on the eyeliner, or you could really go heavy with your eyeliner and then maybe a false, some false lashes with this neutral look, and that would be gorgeous also. So now that I've let that mascara set, I'm gonna go back in with my professional mascara by Makeup Forever, and I'm gonna go to side two which is the volume side. And it tells you, you know, right here it says step one is to lift and step two is to volumize. And I love having two mascaras in one. I mean, don't, if you look at our mascara drawer, don't we have like a bunch of volumizing and a bunch of lengthening? And this is all in one. Thank you Makeup Forever for another great product. I recently highlighted the Mist and Fix spray by Makeup Forever. It's alcohol free, which you guys know as we have aging skin, alcohol is so drying. Same with hairspray. So I try to really minimize any alcohol on my face or my hair. And that Mist and Fix is a great primer. It's a great setting spray. It's really good to use on your brushes if you need to put some glitter or some shimmer on your eyes or any other eyeshadow color and you wanna intensify the look. You can just moisten your brush with that Mist and Fix. And it's just a great all around product to have. If I, was an, if I was a professional makeup artist building a kit, I would absolutely have this mascara in my kit and that Mist and Fix. And knowing how messy I am, I would probably always have this in my kit. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that to the bottom of the lashes, just to add a little bit more of an intense look. So we could stop here and this could be our day look, or if you don't wear a lot of makeup, this could be your evening look. If you do wanna go from a day to an evening look, you can just, as long as everything is still the same, reapply your lipstick maybe, freshen up your blush a little bit. You could go in with a waterproof eyeliner. This is Dior 24 hour waterproof. And we're just gonna go in and do a little bit of tight lining on our upper lashes from that outer corner. And again, this is really more of a nighttime look, but you could wear it for day two as well. And what this will do is intensify the darkness and the depth of your eye look, and it's beautiful. It's a beautiful look. If you wear glasses even in the day, this might be a nice touch. I'm just going from that outer corner, you guys, into now, if your eyes are set close together, then you'll wanna only bring that eyeliner on your tight lining to about halfway so that the inner half of your eye on both sides 
does not have anything on the watermark. That really allows your eyes to be more open in the center. If your eyes are farther apart and you'd like them to look more closer together, then you would wanna bring this tight watermark all the way into the inner corner of your eye and that will essentially make your eyes appear closer together. I wanna leave mine just about at the halfway mark because I like that big fluttery look for my eyes. So we're gonna stop there. And then I'm gonna go back in with my third coat of mascara, which is the waterproof, to ensure that my look stays, whether it's day or evening, and just give it a nice coat of waterproof so that nothing transfers underneath. And I'm using the Lancome Defensils Waterproof, and all these products will be listed in the description box below if you're curious as to which one, which color. And you can see that the combination of that professional mascara by Makeup Forever with this Defensils Waterproof really does help lend itself to that big fluttery eyelash look that is part of the trend. Once my eyelashes are completely dry, I'll add a little bit of this mist and fix all over my entire look, and then we are good to go for the day. And just like that, it's a very simple winged liner, but you've played up to the graphic eyeliner look that is all the trend without looking too trendy for a more mature age. Now this is obviously more on the conservative side. You could grab a liquid eyeliner and you could double line underneath on each side if you wanted. You could put another line across the top and pull it out a little bit farther if you wanted. You can get really creative. The thing about this graphic eyeliner trend is that there's no rules to it. It's almost as creative as you can be and however comfortable you are being artistic. It is really, really fun and easy to play with. If you are looking for some inspiration, some ideas, if you have not watched Glow Up on Netflix and you love makeup and you love artistry and you love being creative, you guys have got to check out Glow Up. It's in season four. I think it just started. It's, it's great. One of the judges, she's a more mature lady and she's from L'Oreal Paris. And in every episode, she has a different graphic liner look on her eyes. Sometimes she'll come out about halfway with a dark black liner, skip a little bit here, and then continue the black liner down below on her, not in her watermark, not at her lash line, but down below in this area. So get real creative. There's some really fun ways that you can play with your makeup. And if you have a friend or a girlfriend that just needs a little bit of a nudge or some encouragement to break out of their normal makeup routine and you know live a little, then share this video with them so maybe they'll get inspired and you guys can do it together. Thanks so much, I'll see you next time, bye-bye.